Welcome to weekly Forex forecast from Forex Trading Wizard Academy. This is Forex Wizard, your trading coach. I will be doing a complete multi time frame analysis of all the hottest currency pairs, cryptocurrencies, and indices that we'll be looking to trade next week. The list is a bit longer as usual, but don't worry, I'll put a time stamp in the description area. But I'll suggest you to watch all of them as you have seen in our previous weekly Forex forecast. Most of the pairs did exactly according to the analysis now this week as you can see dxy is breaking out of the resistance level the market is trending and most of the pairs we could find in a trending market structure can give us significant trading opportunity so before i begin this weekly forex podcast make sure you smash the like button and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done yet without further delay let's get started this week's weekly forex podcast <music> so i'll be looking at first of all dxy as dxy will give us a clear direction of most of the usd pairs as well as gold which where the market will be heading as most of them are related to usd so if we look at dxy from a monthly first of all to see overall picture in the market we see that dxy had a strong bounce from this monthly support after this previous monthly close as a long week handle this month we saw that the price failed to create any new lower low along this zone we saw this bounce now with that bounce as the price has a bounce from this very important level of support we could see the dxy now going up to test this monthly resistance level now there is an imbalance in that zone on the monthly and we could potentially see initially a break of this at least monthly resistance or even breaking this high before coming back down again so with that being said monthly currently dxy is bullish now if we look at the weekly we can see that dxy from this weekly support creating a triple bottom series of higher low has a very long bullish engulfer on the weekly perspective which is in fact a very strong bullish price action as this you can see this candle has a huge volume in it we can expect now another push to the upside on dxy from the weekly perspective what i think that as this is the monthly high this week we could see a retest of this weekly resistance level along this 20 ema and later we might see coming down for a deeper pullback now if we place our fibonacci on dxy starting of this move from the weekly to the end of the move we see that this 20 EM is also aligning with 50% Fibonacci level on DXY as DXY just been retraced 38.2% Fibonacci and we see that the candle is stronger means that we might see further attempt from the buyers to push the price high. So that means that from the weekly as well we can see potential bullish trading opportunity. Now if we readjust this weekly level to this zone as there is a long week green candle which is a very important level of support turning resistance here i think that this week dxy might be moving to that level to test this zone now if we look at that daily we can see that after quite a few days of consolidation and dxy after forming a reversal pattern here has completely broken to the upside now this is the daily candle which is in fact significant bullish what i think that in the market opening we see after a little pullback we can expect another attempt from the buyer on dxy to test this resistance level now if we now looking at the intraday time frame on the four hour perspective we see that dxy has broken all this recent level of resistance zone we see there was a long consolidation along this zone has broken out again the market grab liquidity multiple times with this long week handles and then dxy has a strong bounce followed by this consolidation and correction we saw the dxy has another strong impulse to the upside now we'll be waiting on dxy i will be waiting for a pullback as you can see there is already an impulse we could see a slower consolidation and pullback and as soon as the dx will finish the pullback and will start to move to the upside along this zone we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup 
with our students okay today. so let's look at euro jpy starting with monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that euro jpy is a long term bullish market this is a typical bullish market structure as you can see every month the price was creating series of higher high and higher low now with that monthly bullish handle the previous months we saw there was a strong movement to the upside now this month after creating an overextended market to the upside euro jpy has a, a strong rejection from the top now we see that with that rejection as the price created a very strong price section to the upside there is a rejection from the top we can expect now euro jpy to come back down for a deeper pullback what i think that highly likely euro jpy might be coming back down to this liquidity zone as there is a dodgy monthly as well as monthly opening and closing and we could see euro jpy slowly coming down for grabbing liquidity before moving to the upside if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective euro jpy after this previous weekly red candle that that's a strong rejection followed by this week as well as expected euro jpy after little pullback has a rejection now what i think that this week euro jpy might go up a little bit for a deeper pullback and then we can expect another drop or even we could see a weekly dodgy that lead euro jpy is still remain bearish in that direction if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective euro jpy has a strong rejection from this level created this daily impulse correction impulse it is going for another correction phase what i think that euro jpy along this zone we could see that again creating another bearish price section after little pullback to the upside so with that being said from the lower time frame perspective we see that euro jpy currently forming a consolidation pattern here a little bit of bullish price section so what i think that in the beginning of trading we might see a bullish move on euro jpy and after testing this level we can expect euro jpy to continue to drop so this is where that will be looking initially you might see bullish move on euro jpy to create an overextended market to the upside and we might see later bearish price section from that zone this is the plan for euro jpy now let's look at gbp jpy looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that gbp jpy also showing significant this is a long-term bull market and this month we saw that after creating overextended market like euro jpy gbp jpy has also rejection what i think that as you can see this is the nearest level of resistance and also along with this dodgy there is a high liquidity zone in that area i think that gj also after a little pullback we might see a further drop in this instrument as well from the monthly if we look at the weekly we can see that on gbp jpy after previous weekly doji this week as well the price has created a bearish channel that has also long week at the top and bottom what i think that after pullback to the upside we could see that gbp jpy again coming down for a deeper liquidity gap in that one as well now from the daily we see that after this strong impulse the price has dropped the bulls couldn't create new higher high instead we saw that from this daily level gbp jpy has a very strong rejection followed by last day of trading week there's some attempt from the buyers but the buyers are weaker in comparison with the seller what i think that in the beginning of trading week, we might see another attempt from the buyers and slowly we could see that gj coming back to this long term support level so from the lower time frame as you can see like the euro jpy gbp jpy also grabbing liquidity from the support what i think that in the beginning of trading we might see initial movement to the upside and highly likely the price will break this high and from that zone we could see that gbp jpy coming back down in that area so this is the plan for wave for gbp jpy could be now looking at the aud and zd looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that aud and zd after previous monthly dodgy this month as well so far the price tested the low 
and also tested the high so let's see on the weekly how it is trying to do now from the weekly we see that after this is the weekly impulse there's a red candle has come to the support level previous month we, previous week we saw a dodgy now this week so far we saw that AUD and ZD has strong bounce from the support from a dodgy what I think that in the upcoming week we might see another attempt from the buyers try to break this high and later we could see again another drop now if we look at the daily we can see that a udnzd has last day of trading week there is a strong bullish candle that has crossed almost all this resistance i think that in the beginning after a little pullback we could see a udnzd another attempt from the buyer and in that movement we could see the price might be testing this resistance or even creating a new higher high in that direction so from the lower time frame we can see that a udnzd has already created a very strong impulse and we'll be waiting for a pullback i think that the price might test this important level and along this zone we will look for potential bullish trading opportunity on aud and zd looking at the aud cad looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that aud cad is showing significant bearish movement this is back to back quite a few months we have seen that a strong drop on aud cad previous months also form a long week candle this month so far we saw that the price has tested the monthly high now the price is rejecting i think that with that rejection we might see that aud cad at least will try to break the monthly support and later we might see again bounce so for the time being we can still expect a unit had to continue to drop now looking at the weekly we can see after the previous weekly this candle that has in fact grabbed liquidity from the resistance this week we saw that a unit had has reached around 50 percent of this long week candle feel that imbalance and we can see that now the price is rejecting this is the weekly bearish candle i think that this week we might see that a unit had is still coming down grabbing liquidity from the support and later we might see again bullish move to the upside so from the daily we can see that a unique had after long consolidation along this zone the price has broken towards the downside now we see that when it was breaking down the price left in the neckline of this support here which is turning resistance and from the zone we can expect a unique had to continue to drop so looking at the further lower time frame we can see that a unique had has already made a strong move we can expect for the price to test this support here support here as a resistance and from that zone we can expect a unique had to continue to drop so this is the level that we will be uh, targeting once the price will give a suitable entry opportunity from this resistance level AUD chf looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly like all the ud pairs the ud chf also as you can see this is also a long-term bearish market with this monthly strong uh, rejection from the top we saw that back to back quite a few months strong bearish price section on a ud chf this month so far we saw the price has gone up tested this resistance level on the monthly and we see the market is rejecting and we can expect now a ud chf to come down and to break this support to create new lower low now if we look at the day weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective a ud chf showing significant bearish price action with this liquidity grab from this bearish angle far followed by strong drop again the price has gone up tested couple of weeks high this is the weekly candle that has a sharp rejection from the resistance low zone and now this week we can expect after little pullback we can expect AUD CHF to continue to drop now look from the daily we see that this is the bearish candle a full body red both of them forming this double top AUD CHF has broken down now we can expect a pullback to the upside this previous support turn resistance and from that zone we can expect AUD CHF to continue to drop so from the lower time frame we can see that AUD CHF already has a very strong rejection from this very important neckline of this support here support here turn resistance and what I will be waiting on the new trading week on AUD CHF to give us a little bit of pullback to the upside to have a good risk to reward ratio so as soon as you will see 
AUDCHF has gone up for a pullback after rejection will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students. Now let's look at CAD CHF looking at the monthly. Now from the monthly perspective CAD CHF we can see that also long term bearish market you can see this is the monthly impulse correction impulse it is in another impulsive phase and the previous months this candle that has a significant week at the top and also at the bottom and that candle is in fact a long bearish candle now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective cat chf uh, starting with this one strong impulse consolidation the price again created another impulse and we see that this current week again the price started another impulse i think that cat chf on the market opening we could see little bit of pullback to the upside then we can expect a bearish move on cat chf now looking at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective there was a, a breakout for me it's a fake move to the upside we saw that back to back quite a few days of consolidation and finally we saw cat chf is turning uh, towards downside now from the lower time frame perspective we see that the price consolidated along this zone failed to create a new higher high instead we saw that multiple times the price created a false breakout and then has broken towards the downside so on the market opening i will be also waiting for a little bit of pullback to the upside so that it has this important support as a resistance and along this zone we will consider going short on cat chf with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at chf jpy looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly time frame chf jpy we see that this is a historically bullish market now with this strong impulse correction impulse correction this is a long-term bull market now we see that this current monthly can in the first two weeks the price little bit of pullback towards the downside after this strong impulse now we can expect further pullback on chf jpy now if we look at the weekly we can see that this market previous week there was a long bearish candle this week we saw that there is a long dodgy i think that in the upcoming week we might see another attempt from the sellers to create a new lower low and in that move what i think that chf jpy even might coming back to this support level to grab liquidity now if we look at the daily like the all the jpy pairs we see that chf jpy also forming typical bearish market structure there is an impulse correction impulse it is going up for a correction we can expect another impulse and i think that in the upcoming week after a little pullback to the upside we can expect the price to come down to break this support level to grab liquidity now from the lower time frame we see that there was a significant movement and we see this resistance level after grabbing liquidity chfjpy has made this move i think that initially we might see a push to the upside like all the jpy pairs and highly likely the price might even break this high create an overextended market and then we could see that chfjpy coming down to this support level this is where i will be waiting for a potential selling opportunity on chf jpy looking at aud usd now as you can see the dxy is significantly bullish so you could see that aud usd is going to be bearish this week uh, this is the monthly candle as you can see back to back three months aud usd has formed series of higher low after creating an overextended market aud usd has a rejection towards the downside I think that because it has you can see back to back two months high is broken we can expect AUD USD to come down even to create a new lower low so this month this week we can expect downside on AUD USD now this is the weekly candle you can see has crossed almost all weeks high and form this long bearish candle at the same time we see that this is the nearest level of support on AUD USD what I think that this week after a little pullback to the upside we could see that AUD USD coming down to test this support level now if we look at the daily this is the daily candle you see there is a huge liquidity grab and then form this strong 
impulse towards the downside on the daily now with that long daily candle AUD USD already form a significant bearish move and we saw that there is a dynamic resistance on the daily along the zone what I think that in the beginning we could see a UD USD going up along this zone testing this dynamic resistance and then we can expect the price to continue to drop on AUD USD from the lower time frame we see that AUD USD has a very strong rejection after forming an, a head and shoulder and with this manipulation lag AUD USD has broken down tested with this dodgy and then another breakdown so you see this is a strong downtrending market structure uh, this is the previous swing low on AUD USD I will be waiting for a potential pullback to the upside once you will find suitable entry opportunity along this zone for a potential selling opportunity on AUD USD we'll consider going short with a high probability trade setup now let's look at euro GBP now euro GBP we can see that from the monthly perspective euro GBP has so far back to back quite a few months of strong drop now this is the monthly candle has come to a very important monthly level of support and then has a rejection so far so let's look at weekly what do we see that from the weekly euro gbp has formed a long week dodgy now this is a very crucial level of support as you can see uh, from this level euro gbp has a rejection what i think that in the upcoming week we might see that euro gbp is pushing to the upside as there's an imbalance in that zone we could see the price is going up to feel that imbalance to the upside now if we look at daily on euro gbp we see this with this daily uh, liquidity graph from this very long bullish handle followed by a very narrow dodgy now this dodgy for me it's still a very long uh, weaker response from the seller and also there's a long week at the bottom i think that euro gbp on the market opening we could see that further bullish move and we might see an inverted head and shoulder along the zone and potential move to the upside so if we look at further lower time frame on euro gbp we see that this market already there is a strong pin bar with this rejection followed by correction again the price has tested this significant important level of resistance as a support now we can expect euro gbp to continue to rise to a new uptrend so we'll be waiting for a potential bullish trading opportunity along this zone on euro gbp as soon as we will find suitable entry we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro aud now looking at first of all monthly now from the monthly we can see that euro aud is a long-term bullish market we see with this monthly impulse followed by this correction now if we take our fibonacci for this mob starting of this mob to the end of the mob we see that euro gbp has come to 38.2 percent fibonacci level and from this monthly support it is rejecting towards the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that euro gbp from the weekly perspective after this uh, huge impulse to the upside creating an overextended market previous week there was a significant drop followed by we see that the weekly pain but what i think that euro aud after even without pullback we could see that again bullish move as this is a long term bullish market we see there was a huge liquidity triggered along the zone and there is a long week candle i think that euro aud might be pushing to the upside on the market opening now if we look at the daily we can see that euro aud from the daily perspective this is the daily impulse has come broken all this nearest level of support and with that support break we saw that euro aud again has bounced to the upside now you can see this is the last day of trading week which in fact back to back two days of bullish move i think that euro aud in the market opening we might see pull back to the previous daily resistance and support and then we can expect euro aud to continue to push to the upside as there is an imbalance in that zone so from the lower time frame we can see that euro aud has formed an inverted head and shoulder and then break out from that the price consolidated along this zone there is a channel and also the price grab liquidity 
from this support and we see that now euro AUD is slowly turning to a bull market so as we are already running a successful trade along the zone on euro AUD will be waiting for another entry as soon as we will find suitable opportunity so this is the zone that I will be waiting for another entry if we see that euro AUD has gone up as expected after reaching certain zone we can expect adding position on euro AUD let's look at euro and ZD now looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that euro and ZD also long term market we can see that from this monthly impulse on euro and ZD is this is the huge move followed by this month so far we have seen that euro and ZD has come down for a pullback and again has been rejected what I think that we could see further move to the upside on euro and ZD if we look at the weekly uh, there is a huge rejection from the bottom on the weekly on euro and ZD as you can see this is the a long dodgy after back to back two weeks drop Euro NZD has formed a dodgy. What I think that after a little pullback, we can expect Euro NZD to continue to the upside. Now, if we look at the daily, we see that on Euro NZD from the daily perspective, after this massive drop, the price has come to this important level of support. Now it is going up for a pullback to the upside. Now, what we see that this is the daily price section. I think that after little down we can expect another bullish move on euro and ZD. now if we look at further lower time frame we can see that euro and ZD already made a huge move on the lower time frame i'll be waiting for a pullback as it has made a move we can expect now another pullback towards the downside so as soon as we will find suitable entry along the zone for a potential bullish move on euro and ZD, we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd usd looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that nzd usd is a long term with this long term bull market but what we see that this market after this monthly impulse the price has come down for a pullback now this is the monthly pullback of this impulse and what i see that if you look at the recent time frame recent monthly candle previous months there was a bearish candle this month once the market crossed that monthly high created an overextended we saw that immediately huge rejection towards the downside on that rejection we might see that NZD USD is breaking this low even breaking all this low before pushing to the upside so there is still further probability for NZD USD to drop now if we look at the weekly we can see how the price section is forming now this current weekly candle has crossed all this weekly high so there was a huge liquidity and form this long bearish candle I think that after a little pullback we can expect NZD USD to, to have another drop and with the drop we might see the price has even broken this support level. Now if we look at the daily we can see that back to back two days NZD USD has a huge move. Now on the new trading week we can expect the price to go ahead and test some part of this zone and then we can expect another drop on NZD USD. So from the lower time frame we see that NZD USD has a move without pullback we can expect now a pullback on the intraday perspective so as soon as we will find suitable pullback on nzd usd we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro cad looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that euro cad is a long term bullish market we see with this strong monthly impulse correction narrow dodgy it is in another impulsive phase on euro cad and what we can expect on euro cad is for the price i think that after a little pullback we can expect now another bullish move as this is a long term bullish market has come down for a pullback we can expect another move to the upside on euro cad now looking at the weekly time frame we can see that euro cad from the weekly back to back there was a very long bearish candle this week so far there isn't much response from the seller we saw there's a long week candle 
I think that you look had this week we could see that again another bullish move in this market. Now if you look at the daily, we can see that from the daily perspective there was a, a huge move, narrow correction. There is a dodgy. I think that euro had after little pullback we might see the price again moving to the upside as we see this with this double top the price left a neckline and highly likely that euro had will go up to test this neckline of this previous support down resistance before moving towards the downside so from the lower time frame for me euro had what I think that highly likely the price after little pullback we might see that upside and this is where I will be waiting for a potential bullish trading opportunity on euro cad now looking at the cad jpy let's see monthly first of all now from the monthly we can see that cad jpy is a long-term bullish market with this historical price section cad jpy has formed this series of higher high and higher low now a couple of months we saw cad jpy has a rejection now again the price is forming this this rising channel on CAD JPY and we saw that multiple times the price grab liquidity from the support with this long week candle the previous months we saw there was a, a strong bullish candle has broken all this level this month so far as soon as the price has come to the support we see that CAD JPY is currently again moving to the upside I think that we could see still bullish move in this market now if we look at the weekly we can see that cat jpy with this impulse narrow doji another impulse now you see the price has grabbed liquidity and formed this bullish candle previous week we saw the doji now followed by another candle that is a narrower candle so every time we see cat jpy forming series of higher low which is a sign of break to the upside now if we look at the daily on CAD JPY we see that finally the price is in fact forming typical bullish we see series of lower high along the zone and also higher low what I think that after taking liquidity from the support we could see CAD JPY again moving to the upside as it is a long term bullish market now from the lower time frame we see that CAD JPY as you can see along the zone the price is grabbing liquidity with long week handles what i think that in this market opening we could see initially a drop if we see that cat jpy grab liquidity from the support we can expect for potential bullish trading opportunity on cat jpy on the other hand there is another probability for cat jpy if we see that it has gone there along the zone created an overextended market and then if we see again the price is rejecting with a long week candle from the top we could see even cat jpy coming down again based on the price section confirmation we will trade and i will keep you updated guys during the week in our live session as well as in our analysis let's look at gbp aud looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that gbp aud is a long term bull market as well with this very long impulse on the monthly so far in the first two weeks we saw that significant drop in what I think the JBP AUD as is a long term bullish market we can expect now another movement to the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that JBP AUD from the weekly perspective the price is forming series of higher high and higher lows a bullish market the previous week we saw that JBP AUD has formed a narrower candle that has in fact a rejection from the bottom and i think that this week after a little pullback we can expect another bullish move on if we look at the daily we can see that there was a double bottom on the daily time frame the price has broken to the upside now we can expect after a little pullback another bullish move on gbp aud now from the lower time frame perspective we see that gbp aud typically forming bullish market structure creating series of higher high and higher low so once the price will grab enough liquidity from the support we can consider going long on gbp aud with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro dollar 
now looking at the euro dollar from the monthly now from the monthly we can see that euro dollar in fact after this strong rejection from the top euro dollar so far in the last two days of trading week has a very strong uh, rejection from the top and because the price is coming down for a pullback and we saw that all this resistance level is broken we can expect now euro dollar what i think that initially we could see a break of this previous monthly low and even we could see further down if we look at the weekly we can see that euro dollar from the weekly perspective with this doji the price is from this bullish market structure which completely broken if we take our fibonacci from low to the high we see that euro euro dollar is currently approaching 50 percent what i think that it might even come to 61.8 percent fibonacci level before moving to the upside so from the weekly perspective as well we can expect euro dollar to continue to drop now if we look at daily we can see that euro dollar has broken this long term uptrending market structure completely and we saw a retest of this previous support level turn resistance with this long weak daily candle and the price has completely broken towards the downside turning to a downtrend i'll wait for a pullback on the daily and then we can expect for potential selling opportunity on euro dollar now if we look at for the lower time frame on euro dollar what we see that there was a long consolidation which is a sign of change of trend so you saw that euro dollar in fact change its long term uptrend to a downtrend now we will be waiting for a pullback towards the upside any kind of pullback like the mirror as you know that euro dollar is completely mirror of dxy so in the similar way if we see that euro dollar has done enough pullback and as soon as you will see euro dollar again breaking down we'll consider going short with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gbp chf looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that gbp chf previous months has formed this long doji this month so far we see that gbp chf didn't make much movement we see the price is still in this narrow range so let's look at the weekly now from the weekly we see that gbp chf so far form a bearish price action we saw previous week there was a um, crossover of this doji is high has formed this long red candle i think that this week after a little pullback we can expect further drop on gbp chf now if we look at daily what we see that from the daily perspective there is a liquidity gap from the top narrow doji i think that this week after a little pullback to the upside we can expect further drop on gbp chf as you can see this is a bit more uh, consolidating in this time frame we'll be waiting for gbp chf to go up initially to grab liquidity above this two uh, intraday long week candle there is a huge liquidity if gbp chf managed to break this resistance level we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup let's look at gbp and zd looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that gbp and zd is a long term bullish market with this huge impulse on the monthly gbp and cd has formed this monthly impulse this month so far we see that the price couldn't break this monthly high in instead has created a long week candle i think that because the market is very strongly bullish we can expect gbp and cd to move to the upside further now if we look at weekly we can see that there is a long week pain bar on the weekly time frame on gbp and cd now there is a huge impulse correction and we can expect another impulse on gbp and zd now looking at the daily now from the daily perspective we can see that gbp and zd after this drop has come to an important level of support which is a crucially important support also support here and last day of trading week we saw that gbp and zd has formed a significant bullish candle now what i think that in the market again we might see a little pullback and then we can expect another bullish move on EGBP and ZD. From the lower time frame, we see that there is already a huge impulse. 
and we can expect a correction what i think that this market might be forming an inverted head and shoulder after coming to this level testing this support here as a support forming an inverted head and shoulder we can expect another bullish move on gbp and zd now gbp CAD. let's see what kind of price action is doing now looking at the monthly we see that gbp CAD also this is a long term bullish market now in that long term bullish market we saw quite a few months of strong bullish move now this month so far after uh, creating an overextended to the upside we see that gbp CAD primarily is coming down i think that we might see another bullish move as you can see this is a very strongly bull market and as the price already made a move we can expect further push to the upside now from the weekly we can see that gbp had uh, there was a uh, with this liquidity grab created this impulse and again the price has come back down to test this important previous resistance turn support here we see this is the weekly level resistance here resistance here which is turning support has formed an arrow doji i think that in the market opening after a little pullback we can expect another bullish move on gbb cad now from the daily we see that gbb cad forming long week dodges now this dodges is quite significant what i think that the market might come back down as you can see already has come down quite a few days of dodges I think that GBP had initially might break down to grab liquidity and then we could see that this market again moving to the upside so based on the breakout as we see quite a few days of dodges so if it breaks down initially might give us a strong um, bullish price action as soon as we will find suitable entity, we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at GBP USD looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that gbp usd after breaking this monthly resistance above this doji we see primarily now rejecting as we see the dxy is a strongly bullish we can expect now gbp usd to come down further and with that break i think that gbp usd might be coming even breaking this monthly low now if you look at weekly we see that after this big huge bullish move now the price is breaking down means that with that breakdown even we could see that gbp usd coming well below this level where there is the previous resistance turn support here what i think that even we might see further downside on gbp usd now if we look at the daily we see after forming this double top formation on gbp usd has broken down followed by a daily candle which is also bearish and on the market opening we might see initial pullback to the upside and then we can expect gbp usd to come down again now from the lower time frame we see that there was a head and shoulder breakdown retest with this dodgy and following a typical bearish price section so this is where we'll be waiting i'll be waiting for a pullback to the previous support turn resistance along this zone as soon as we will find suitable entry on gbp usd we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd cad looking at the monthly now from the monthly we can see that nzd cad is as you can see this it's respecting this monthly resistance line this is the trend line that the price was respecting this month also we have seen the market has gone up and created a lower high again has a very strong rejection with the rejection what i think that nzd cad might be coming down to test this monthly support level now if you look at the daily weekly we see there is a weekly pin bar from this resistance and with that pin bar what i think that in the market opening after a little pullback we can expect another drop and in that drop we might see nzd cad even coming down to the support level now if you look at daily there is a with this daily pin bar we saw that um, nzd cad has a very strong rejection followed by a red candle which is in fact a bearish candle and we that drop we saw that the price in fact form a neckline of this support which is turning resistance i think that in the beginning we might see a pullback to test this level 
and then you can expect another drop on NZD CAD. Now from the lower time frame, oh, this is the, the impulse and we can expect now a slower pullback to the upside. So this is where I will be waiting for a potential selling opportunity on NZD CAD. Now let's look at NZD CHF. If you look at uh, first of all monthly, now from the monthly perspective, we see that NZD CHF is a long term bearish market with this um, double top here. NZD CHF has broken down back to back quite a few months of long red candle. Now this month so far we see that NZD CHF after testing this level we saw again the price is forming a long week candle means that we could see even break of this support to create new lower low. Now if we look at the weekly we can see that NZD CHF from the weekly as well with this impulse correction the price is creating series of lower high and lower low on NZD CHF this is a long week handle now with that long week handle if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective there's a long bearish candle followed by a long another bearish candle back to back two days of strong drop what I think that NZD CHF initially we could see little pullback and we can expect another drop in this market so from the lower time frame we see that NZD CHF there is a long week doji and followed by a narrower candle on the market opening but I think that NZD CHF might initiate another drop and this is where um, we are already on a trade on this in this zone as soon as we will find another opportunity we will consider going short on NZD CHF with a high probability trade setup now let's look at NZD JPY looking at the monthly now from the monthly we see that NZD JPY from the monthly perspective after this previous monthly bullish candle this month so far we see that there is already an overextended market and has come back down again I think that this monthly candle might be coming down a little if we look at the weekly we can see that this is the weekly candle there was a weekly impulse so far followed by this week after going to the upside breaking all this high has rejected again i think that this week after a little pullback to the upside we might see further drop on nzd jpy now if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective there is a narrow doji this is the starting of an impulse now we can expect a correction to the upside and then we can expect another impulse to the downside on nzd jpy from the lower time frame we see the market already forming a downtrending market structure we can expect a pullback along this zone and from that area we could see the nzd jpy again coming down to this level where there is the previous resistance turn support here so this is where we can expect to sell nzd jpy now let's look at gold to see how it is doing now from the monthly we can see that gold is a long term bullish market with this monthly impulse we saw that gold has formed this significant bullish move and with that bullish move gold in fact has broken all this resistance level and created an all time high now with that all time high gold in fact triggered huge liquidity and then we have seen that gold has come back down to this level now this is a very important this is the third week of the month what i think that because it has triggered liquidity from all time high what i think that gold might even come down to break this monthly low or even it could break the previous monthly low before moving to the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that gold from the weekly perspective after this weekly bullish candle this week so far has formed a narrow doji and with the doji the price what i think that highly likely it will come back down again to test this weekly support as the price is moving along this channel it's a long term bullish channel the price already has broken to the upside grab liquidity now we could see a break to the downside grab liquidity before moving to the upside and as you can see this is the monthly low and also this is the previous monthly low 
what I think that gold might come down this week further to break this low and then you can see that again the price is moving to the upside now if we look at the daily on gold we see that from the daily perspective this is the daily impulse that has formed all this all-time high and the price has come back down to this previous resistance turn support and we saw another attempt from the buyers but what do we see that every time the buyers carrying weaker and weaker so with that weakness in buyer and strengthening of selling pressure we could see gold is breaking down and to the support and from there we might see that gold again pushing to the upside so with that being said from the lower time frame perspective we could see that selling pressure on gold now from the intraday we see that as you can see we had quite a few successful trade last week on gold now as you can see the price is forming series of lower high along the zone on gold and with this green candle this is the last days of trading week you have seen looks like it's a fake move to the upside and gold with that fake move in fact tested this important level this is the support zone of this head and shoulder on the intraday has broken down and tested the neckline of this head and shoulder this support as a resistance and we see slowly again the price is dropping what i think that in the market opening we even might see a gap opening to the upside downside and from that level with that gap opening we can expect gold to come back down i think that from that zone we could see that gold even breaking further to this level so this is where i will be waiting on the market opening as soon as i will find suitable entry opportunity on gold for this move to the downside i will be considering going short with a high probability trade setup with our students if you want to trade gold euro dollar gbp usd and all the instrument that we are trading in our forex trading wizard academy there is a link in the description area you can visit the website join us to learn our strategies and also to trade with us so let's look at dollar swiss franc looking at the monthly perspective now usd chf you can see from the monthly after from this support level this is a very long term support primarily has a bounce as we see the market has come to this very important level of support we could see that usd chf now pushing to the upside to create new higher high now if we look at the weekly we can see the dollar swiss franc from the weekly perspective after previous weekly bearish candle instead of dropping it has gone completely to the upside as we see dxy is getting stronger with this impulse the price reverse and i think that um, usd chf might be coming at least to this previous uh, support down resistance or even breaking this high now if we look at the daily we can see that usd chf from the daily time frame there is a, a drop consolidation another push to the upside now we can expect the price to continue to rise to this level at least or even breaking this high before coming down so dollar switch spring from the daily as well we see potential bullish move now if we look at for the lower time frame on usd chf we see this with this um intraday there was a multiple times liquidity grab in this market with this long week candle has a strong move we will be waiting for a deeper pullback now and as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity along the zone on usd chf will consider going long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at dollar cad looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we see the dollar cad previous months there was a dodgy this month so far um, has come to the same monthly level of support and we see the market again has a rejection now with that rejection the price on the monthly resistance again i think that with this move we could see the dollar cad again has broken this monthly high now if we look at the weekly we can see that from this weekly support level the price has formed a double bottom and then has closed as a very powerful bullish engulfer we can expect usd care after a little pullback another bullish move now if we closely look at we see the dollar had is moving along this channel 
where we can expect now the price to go ahead and complete this pattern to continue to rise and to go ahead and test this resistance before coming down so dollar cad is potentially bullish now if we look at the daily we can see that after this long dodges here consolidation breakout now with that breakout the price already has broken this support level to the upside we'll be waiting for a little pullback and then we can expect another bullish move on dollar cad now from the lower time frame we see that there is a significant impulse and again there is another impulse once we'll see the price has done enough pullback along this zone we'll consider going long on dollar cad with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at dollar yen looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we can see that dollar yen is in fact long-term bullish market if you look at this monthly candle we see every month the price was creating series of higher low now this is the monthly candle we see that so far up and down both side has been tested but because it's a bull market we can expect now the price to continue to rise to the upside now if we look at weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective dollar yen is forming series of higher low along the zone and once we will see that dollar yen has formed a strong bullish price section we can consider going long as we see this is the weekly candle and creating series of higher low we can expect dollar yen to continue to rise now if you look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective dollar yen this is the daily doji here now with that doji dollar yen has grabbed liquidity and then has bounced to the upside now this daily candle we see it's a full body green what we can expect on dollar yen after a little pullback to give us potential bullish trading opportunity so from the lower time frame we see the dollar yen has formed an inverted head and shoulder has broken to the upside now with that breakout we see the dollar yen in fact has gone up above this support level we will be waiting for a lower time frame pullback to this neckline of this previous resistance style support along this zone and then we can expect dollar yen to give us potential bullish trading opportunity usd czar we see that this market is highly bullish now if we look at monthly we can see that usd czar so far has a very strong breakout this is the monthly impulse with this impulse the price has come back down for a pullback it is in another impulsive phase now we see that usd czar in fact now the price has broken all this resistance and you can expect the price to continue to rise now if we look at the weekly on usd czar we see that this market is in fact has broken all this previous resistance level on usd czar now we see there is an impulse consolidation the price grab liquidity from the support has formed this another impulse now this is the weekly candle what i think that we could see that initial pullback to test this previous resistance as a support and then we can expect another bullish move on usd czar now if we look at daily we can see that from the daily there is in fact a very strong breakout this is the last day of trading which is in fact a half body half week i think that in the beginning we might see a break of this daily low and then we could see the us desire again pushing to the upside so this is the support that had an activity broken towards the downside and then we could see that us desire pushing to the upside now we saw that with this uh, lower time frame impulse us desire has formed a structure i'll be waiting for the price to break this structure to the downside especially along this 20 ema once the price will break this support after creating an overextended we can expect to go long on usdsr with a high probability trade setup now let's look at wti or us oil now we see that us oil is a long-term bearish market this is the monthly candle so far once the market opened initially we saw the immediate drop and previous months also after gap opening we saw that there's a middleman now usd wti we can expect now this months also continue to drop as we see this is a very strong bearish price section if we look at the weekly we can see the previous week there was a a, a huge candle that is a significant bearish now this week so far we saw a retest of this level and again long 
bearish candle i think that in the upcoming week we might see that the price is continuing to the downside if we look at the daily we can see that us all so far from the daily perspective there was a strong drop to this level of support has gone up for a pullback and it is coming down again but i think that in the market opening we might see initial pullback again it could break at least one daily high that could give us a huge liquidity grab and then we could see that us oil again coming towards the downside now from the lower time frame we see that already a very strong bearish candle and after this consolidation here we saw again breakdown consolidation another breakdown now this is a crucial level here what i think that either even the price may not break this resistance respecting this level we could see that us oil is coming down and if once it it continue to drop we could see that this market at least testing this long week doji again either breaking this support or even coming to this zone to create higher low or lower low so this is where we can expect for potential selling opportunity on usd us oil as soon as we will find suitable entry now these are the forex pairs that we will be looking at in addition to that many other pairs that we will be looking at as well if you want to trade all of them also you can join us link in the description area now let's look at indices looking at the nasdaq looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we see that nasdaq is in fact a long-term bullish market we saw every month with this monthly impulse the price has formed a long week candle this month also so far the price tested the low low of this monthly long week and then has formed another long week candle so far i think that after pull back towards the downside we might see the nasdaq again going to the upside now if we look at weekly we see that this weekly candle is also potential bullish candle there is a doji followed by a weekly candle for me it's also a bullish candle i think that the price might respect this level which is a very high liquidity and from this zone we can expect another bullish move now if we look at the daily on nasdaq we see that the market is forming an impulse correction impulse correction we can expect another impulse as it is a long term bullish market now from the lower time frame we see that nasdaq is showing now this four hour time frame is a bit more different than what we see on the higher time frame we could see in this time frame a drop now what we see on the daily is a bullish market but on the lower time frame what i think that we might see that nasdaq initially could drop breaking this low and from this zone we might see that nasdaq again going to the upside so this is a very important level on nasdaq as you can see with this last session's candle on nasdaq there is a, a possible head and shoulder along the zone i think that on the market opening we might see that nasdaq coming down to grab liquidity from this support and this is where i will be waiting for a potential bullish trading opportunity on nasdaq let's look at us 30 looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that us 30 currently showing significant bearish price section now this is the monthly candle we saw that after breaking this monthly high us 30 has a strong rejection now with that rejection i think that this market might be again coming to this monthly support if we look at the weekly we see back to back quite a few weeks of bearish price section there is a long week candle on the weekly followed by a bearish candle what i think that this week after a little pullback to the upside we could see another drop as we see that this is the weekly impulse the price highly likely will come back down again to this support level now if we look at the daily on us 30 we see that from the daily the price in fact uh, you can see there is a narrow doji is being created and every day the price is creating series of lower high and also grabbing liquidity from the resistance i think that us 30 slowly will break towards this level to this zone and from that level we could see that again bullish move to the upside now from the 
intraday we see that us 30 you can see multiple times the price you know create a false breaker to the upside and the price is slowly coming down now this is the last session scandal on us 30 i think that on the market opening after pullback to the upside we could see that us 30 slowly breaking this support as we see that this is the lower time frame support and we can see the market is creating series of lower high along the support sign of breakout and then we can expect the price to come back even below this level so this is where i'll be waiting for a potential uh, selling opportunity on us 30 so along this zone for this move towards the downside let's look at btc usd looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective on btc usd we see that after this huge move to the upside btc usd now again selling off so on monthly we see that btc usd currently bearish now if we look at the weekly we can see that a couple of weeks btc usd was consolidating and now slowly the price is dropping towards the downside and i think that with the drop we might see that btc usd again coming to this baseline where uh, this is the previous resistance zone which is turning support here now if we look at the daily we can see that btc usd currently from the daily uh, is creating a lower time frame price bearish price action there's an impulse correction it is in another impulsive phase now from the daily we see that btc usd previous day there is a doji that has a long week what i think that to to drop in that situation as this is a, a support level it requires liquidity i think btc usd initially highly likely will go to this resistance zone and then we could see that the market is continuing towards the downside so this is a, a very high area of value on btc usd and i think that btc usd is likely to continue to drop from that zone after grabbing liquidity or even at even at least breaking this daily high we could see btc usd is coming down looking at the ethereum usd now we see that what we are expecting on btc usd is also reflecting on ethereum usd this is the daily doji and we saw that after breaking the daily doji is high the price now slowly coming towards the downside now from the lower time frame ethereum usd what i think that if it grabs enough liquidity from the top along the zone we could see the ethereum usd again coming down as we see that it already has established a downtrend along this area and we could see that ethereum usd even coming to this baseline to this long term support level so this two crypto looks like that bearish and upcoming week we could see them also they are dropping so these are the forex cryptos and indices that will be looking next week if you want to trade all of this instrument that we are trading uh, also you can join us there is a link in the description area you can visit our website any question let us know in the live chat thank you very much i'll see you soon in my next analysis